everyone, Kate here, and today I'm going to let you in on a little secret. 1920s fashions are not flattering. I know, shocking and innovative content right here. The fashions of the Roaring Twenties are just not the most becoming shape for the majority of women. Now don't get me wrong, I love the clothing of the 1920s, especially the early 20s. It's fun, and it was very daring and innovative at the time. But I'm the first to admit, it's a hard decade to wear. There are going to be other eras of clothing that 99.9% .9 of people will find more flattering for their body type. I, for example, look better in the clothing of the 1930s and the 1950s. Well, the 50s isn't really my decade of choice anymore, I do wear 1930s styles on a regular basis as they make my figure look its best. But what's a flapper gal to do? Resign herself to a permanent state of frumpiness? Fear not, there is one simple trick that will make most flapper fashions if not still the most flattering shape, at least a lot better. Well, what is this trick I hear you ask? Well, it all boils down to undergarments. Specifically, bras. <laughs> well, generally I think the importance of undergarments is pretty well known in the vintage community. I think they're vital for 1920s, and nobody seems to talk about it. <laughs> A proper 1920s style bra can easily make you look 5 to 10 pounds lighter and get that shapeless dress to hang properly. Don't believe me? Here's a 1920s style dress worn with a modern bra. Now, here is the same dress, but worn with a historical style bra. Notice the difference? Let's try the same thing with a blouse. See? Much better. The reason behind this is due to the way many 1920s styles drape. There is no defined waist, and garments from the era were cut quite straight. As such, they will hang outward off the largest part of you. For most women, the chest area is going to stick out farther than their waist. By wearing a period-appropriate bra, you will make that measurement smaller, and thus the dress will hang closer to the rest of the body as well. It will also hang a lot smoother, and not pouch oddly around the belly. But what exactly is a historically appropriate bra for that time period? Well, bras in the 1920s were a relatively new invention. The first brassiere is often credited as being invented by Mary Phelps Jacobs, which was patented in 1914. While this may be considered one of the first modern bras, there have been boobage support units around for centuries. Yes, I did just say boobage support units. <laughs> if you've ever worn a corset with a chemise underneath, you will understand how those two work together to serve the same purpose and function of a bra. With the decline of the corset, women needed another means of support. Early bras were very simple in construction, and were essentially just a strip of fabric, often cotton or silk, fastened on with hooks or elastic. Straps were generally made from ribbon, and tended not to be adjustable like a modern bra strap. These underthings were intended to fit snugly, keeping the girls locked in place. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've actually started making my own bras based on instructions in some of my period books. They are so comfy, and I feel so much better in my 1920s dresses now. I don't often do sewing tutorials on this channel, but do let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. They are super simple to construct, and you don't even need a sewing machine. Not into sewing your own? Well, the closest modern equivalent would be either a bandeau bra or a sports bra. If you're a B cup or less, I suggest trying to find a bandeau you like, as they tend to fit a little better undergarments. Bustier gals, however, may find they need the extra support of a sports bra. A tight-fitting tank top, especially those with a built-in shelf bra, will also work in a pinch. Keep in mind, we're just looking to squish the girls down a bit, not bind them tightly. Whatever method you choose, it should still feel really comfortable. There are, of course, a number of other tricks to obtaining a slim silhouette. The lines of a dress, its trimmings, and accessories all play a part. I will link some resources down in the description if you wish to delve a little deeper into the subject. Well, that's all for this week. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! video of people just staring at my chest. <laughs> That's not awkward at all. <gasps> oh, I can't believe I'm making this. <laughs>